so pumped for this movie. You guys have no idea. Look at them. I'm pumped, like so pumped. It's officially the beginning of Halloween. Are you ready for it? Are you ready? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I woke up, did my F45 workout, came home, showered up, um, and now Matt and I are about to head off to Walmart to get our ingredients for our dinners the next two nights. And then we're gonna head to the mall. It's a gross, rainy day. So, of course, I want nothing else but to be wearing a big, oversized sweatshirt and yoga pants. So that is what I'm wearing. I'll show you my outfit really quick. I have no idea how I acquired this sweatshirt. Um, I have no idea how I acquired this sweatshirt, but I'm assuming it was my dad's and it somehow got lumped into my stuff. So that is what I'm wearing, Canucks. Um, and now we're about to head off to Walmart and do some shopping. So fun little day ahead of us. Just a cozy, relaxing, like relaxing day. I feel like I need it. Like big sweatshirt, <laughs> just fun stuff like that. So I got my baby here on the floor. Hey Frankie, look at us, look at us. We are about to head off. I picked Matt up a coffee from McDonald's on my way home from my workout. And why are we blurry? There we go. And we're off. Are you ready, babe? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll put my shoes on. So we're gonna run to Walmart and then come back home, drop all the food off, and then we'll head to the mall. So, Matt's little outfit for the day. Nice little Virginia Tech sweatshirt thing. It is nice. Shorts. I don't wear it much, but got a little it's Frank. Nice. It's my... Yeah, I like it. It's sort of gross. Smile for a thumbnail. Okay. Now we are on our way to Walmart. Have my little list, of course. And I want to give a little update on the movie last night because we did end up watching that and it was really cute. If you like the first Hocus Pocus, I think you're really going to like it. It had definitely like some cheesy moments in it, but like what kind of like what do you expect? You know what I mean? It's like a Disney. The first one was movie. awful. Matt hated the first one and he actually liked this one a lot more. Well, there was like some funny moments it in it that actually made stupid, us laugh. It was very stupid, but there were some funny moments where I was like, oh, they should do this for it to be funny, and then yeah. it did. Well, it's definitely like a cheesy kids movie. Like, that's just what it is, and that's what it's supposed to be. But I really liked it. I thought it was really cute. Should we give them spoilers? No spoilers. They can watch it if you guys have a Disney Plus membership. I feel like not many people have that one, unless they have the kids. I don't know. Whoa, what are you doing? I need AC, I'm sweating. Oh, you're cold, really. It's 50 degrees out. I'm hot. That's what I meant. Um, but I really liked the movie. It was really adorable. I know a lot of people had like watch parties last night. I wish we had like people over. <laughs> well, we're off to Walmart. I feel like I look like a bum. Matt hates when I wear old sweatshirts like this. He always is like, you have new ones, like wear your new ones. So I just love old clothes. Like it just, like the worn feel is so nice. I think this is actually my brother's sweatshirt. I don't know how I got it. It just appeared in my closet. I didn't take it on hey, purpose. You keep I wearing junky you old sweatshirts when you buy, you buy new stuff every day. My pizza sweatshirt though, my favorite one. It has a big George's. hole in the back now. <laughs> I think that must be for my dad. <laughs> I think I stole all my old sweatshirts from my dad at some point and Remind me I to love never that. buy you anything new. I love old sweatshirts. But besides the point, I actually have a big Shein haul coming soon. So subscribe if you're not already to make sure you see that when it gets posted. I think it should be up in like the next week or two. Are you really that hot? Yeah, I'm hot. What I'm in the world? It's literally 50 degrees out. Not in here. It's like 80 in here. Well, it's not. Oh, okay, but yes, subscribe to see the Shein haul. It's a bunch of like fall clothes, which I'm really excited about. I hope they come in before this weekend because I ordered a dress in there that I might wear 
to a wedding that we're going to on Friday. So we'll see if it comes in on time. I can film that and get that guy up for you guys. And yeah, she and halls are always fun. I keep forgetting the wedding's Friday. I'm freezing. Sarah, this sweatshirt has been stitched together like. <laughs> yeah. It literally. It. And that is a my tag on the outside. That is so my and dad's holes doing. holes on the back. I know what your dad's doing, <laughs> but you buy new stuff to wear it. I like it. You're not even a Canucks fan. Dad, what did you do to this sweatshirt? <laughs> that is comical. Okay, we'll see you guys at Walmart. Just got home. I'm gonna show you everything we picked up from Walmart. I'm gonna kind of put it away as I show you guys, just to make it a little faster. I'm gonna try to get out of here and go to the mall. So we got spinach. This is for both of our dinners. We're gonna put this in our soup and our dinner tonight. Parmesan, um, hummus. This hummus, it all got jacked up. But the roasted red pepper hummus and pita chips, like best thing ever. We've been snacking on that for a week, like two weeks now. It's been my favorite. More sun-dried tomatoes, tomato sauce, um, and heavy whipping cream. This is gonna be for both dinners too. Put this stuff away. Um, and we picked up a bunch of meat. We got, also got chicken stock for our soup, uh, sausage for our soup, and then chicken breast for tonight. Okay. Picked up mushrooms. These are the iced tea packets that I drink. I just make them in a pitcher and I drink them all the time. We got a lot of broccoli. Okay. And we picked up basil, onion, and some laundry detergent, or like the little beads that you put in your wash. Pick some of those up. And that is everything we got from Walmart. So I'm just gonna finish putting this stuff away. And then we're gonna head out to the mall. We're gonna go out to Tyson just cause it's like a nicer, bigger mall. And do some walking around. I really don't need to buy anything cause I just did that big Shein haul, like I said. But we're gonna see, and I do have some cash in my wallet from like wedding presents that we didn't put in the bank. And whenever I use cash, I feel like I'm really not spending money. <laughs> Matt's face. You say that all the time. That is like your rule, actually. You always say, whenever I have cash and I spend my cash, I feel like I didn't spend anything, which is a really bad thing to like think of and use that as a habit because that's really bad. But um, maybe I'll buy something with my cash. <laughs> we'll see. Don't really need anything. I kind of would like a pair of boots because I like high leather boots, but we'll see. But I'm now ready to go to Walmart. Now ready to go to the mall. Gonna wash my hands. I'm all gross after going into Walmart. And I think we're ready. So, you ready, Matt? You literally put the football game on for like five seconds when we got home. Do you want to run Frank out for me? Um, no, I don't want to. But you can, thank you. Okay, see you at the mall. Made it to the mall. Just parked. Gonna see if there's anything 
fun to buy, but it's really quiet in here. It's really quiet. It's really quiet. Um, not really like doing much. Not really in need of anything, but gonna do some shopping. See what we can find. If not, just like walk around, get our steps in. It's raining, so not much movement going on today. Time to shop. my favorite mall snack of like all time. I always get the cinnamon pretzel bites. And Matt got the hot, the mini hot dogs. Yeah, I bit one of them. Yum, my favorite. Cheers. Just got back in the car. I literally didn't buy anything. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Kind of sad about it because I did want a few things that I saw. But this mall on the weekends is miserable since Matt's not even looking all. I'll move it off of him. <laughs> I'm looking at <laughs> Always on his phone, that boy. Um, a lot of stuff going on. But that mall is literally like a nightmare to actually shop at on the weekends, especially like a rainy day like this. It was packed. Like the lines were crazy. We actually waited in the Zara line for like 10, 15 minutes and we didn't move at all. So I was like, screw this. I took a picture of the tag so I can, um, it online if I want to still but it was this it was just like a white crop top kind of like a really nice thick basic but I just took a picture of the tag because um, this little QR code up here brings you right to the website and like on your phone now you can click that little thing oh yeah okay. That's and you can right. just like oh cool. <laughs> you can just open it um, by clicking on the QR code in your apps, in your photo app now. So this is what the crop top looked like, and I was considering getting it in white and tan, and I also wanted the black one, but they only had like a small size, so I think I'm gonna buy two or three of them online and just get them shipped to my house because that line was a nightmare. Did not feel like sitting in it, and I feel like I just need more basics that I could throw under sweaters and blazers and like just things like that because I feel like I don't have that many. But I'm also going to be doing a whole closet clean out sometime soon, so if you're interested in that, make sure you stick around, and that video will probably be up in a few weeks. I think I'm gonna end up doing my clean out um, one of the last weekends of October, since we're gonna be here then. But we do have a lot of traveling coming up, so I'm trying to like plan out when I can like do stuff like that, because our house is just becoming cluttered and a bunch of crap everywhere. We actually got rid of a whole trash bag already full of clothes. And I just dropped it in one of those bins or like big things that are in parking lots for like clothes donations. I really don't know where else to bring it. Like I don't know the best place to bring clothes donations. Um, so that's what I did, but I definitely need to do more. And I'm gonna do like my whole closet, all my drawers coming soon, coming soon. Um, but now we're on our way home. I think I'm gonna drop Matt and actually run into Marshall's. There's one literally like in right next to our house. So I'm gonna run there and look for some little things for someone. I don't wanna say it because I know they watch my videos and I want to be a surprise. So gonna go look for what? You think you that gave it away? probably ruined it <laughs> if you were trying to keep something a secret. Might have given it away, but maybe not, maybe not. But yeah, I'm gonna run into Marshall's and just look for a few little things. And, but Matt does not wanna do any more shopping with me. So I'm just gonna drop him at the house. Hopefully we get home kind of fast. I hate this drive. If you guys live anywhere in this area, I feel like it's a common area. I feel like maybe some of you out of the few thousand that follow me might live here. But if you guys know Route 7, it is like, oh no scare the crap out of me um it is a shit show this road it's like always under construction just a mess it's a mess to drive on it gives me anxiety because there's like um like concrete 
wall things on either side like so tight no shoulder at all and I have been getting driving anxiety really bad lately mostly on long trips but I do get it when I'm driving like in rain or like in tight areas it's usually on long car trips like whenever I drive up to Jersey now by myself I panic the whole time and it's really gone bad but not gonna let that stop me not gonna you know what I mean but I do call Matt when I'm driving like every time and I'm like is this normal that my car is <laughs> this really you know what I mean like I just panic a lot so okay there's a lot of commotion going on right now cop and another cop is still coming to the left jeez what's going on Ooh, those trucks oh there's the another one coming opening. the giant glass walls wait where are they okay I see something else ambulance what is this to the right or left I don't know I can't tell anymore I think to the right I can't there's an ambulance back this way, though. Oh, oh my God. Okay, more we're we're Two more cops we're getting a little. And like a okay, what the hell? Ambulance Where do I go? Ah! Stay in the middle, I guess. Ah! I'm panicking. They're coming on both sides. All right. Guys, that was insane. Can't see. What is going on? Do you think it's right here? This is literally like 30 seconds after I say this road is. I should have so <laughs> jeez that was actually stressful for like a half second there I didn't know where to go okay I'm gonna look on Twitter just do you think it'll already be up lots of times stuff like that is up uh, craziness okay well we're on our way home should be home in like 20 ish minutes it's kind of a painful drive but um yeah I'll see you guys when I drop Matt off I'm gonna run to Marshall's really fast see if there's anything fun and then go home and relax until we make dinner. What time do you want dinner? I don't care. We can like make it later. 5.30? Late. No. I'm hungry. My Six. pretzel bites did not fill me up. I'm full. 6 o'clock? Start making it? Just got two Marshalls. Going to pop in and just see if they have anything really quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because I'm tired. Um... But definitely want to look really quick. I picked up a few things that I was trying to get. And then I also found a little sweatshirt for myself. This was in like the athletic type clothing. And it's so soft. And it's kind of lightweight, but it's really nice. Just a black zip up hoodie. And I feel like a lot of this kind of stuff, I always get super oversized. Which I really like, but I want it like a more fitted, like not huge oversized one. So I got this, it was only 16 bucks, it was on sale. So I picked that up, I thought that was a nice little fun thing to throw over. And now I'm heading home. I was in there for a lot longer than I was planning on it because I kind of just got carried away <laughs> looking for stuff. So I tend to do that a lot. So it's not surprising to me at all that I spent so much time there. The camera's not working, okay. But now I'm exhausted. It's almost five o'clock. I think I almost spent a whole hour in there. Just about. So Matt's probably like, what in the world is she doing right now? I actually didn't spend that much money. I think I only spent like 30 bucks, so not bad. And I just have so much more fun in stores like that, more than the mall, because you guys know me. I don't like spending a ton of money on clothes and stuff that like I know I can get for cheaper I don't know I just have such a hard time and it's not because I don't have the money like if I really wanted that stuff like I could buy it but I just don't think it's smart to do especially like right now in my life it's not really the time for me to like spend a crap ton of money for no real reason <laughs> um trying to buy a house soon and possibly have to get a new car in the next year or two and then all this kind of stuff that life brings at you it's just like I don't like to spend a lot of money if I don't have to so I am kind of on the cheaper side I would say if I had to like if I had to call it something <laughs> I would definitely say I'm on the cheaper side that doesn't mean I don't spend money especially like on food and stuff like that I have no problem spending my money but when it comes to clothes, 
I definitely like am not the girl that will spend a hundred dollars on a t-shirt or like stuff like that unless maybe like my bridal shower dress I spent a little bit more money on but never for like basics or sweatshirts or anything like that it's just like we're gonna find cute cheap things and that's what I try to show you guys because I know it's not um, it's not in everyone's budget to go out and be buying all their clothes off Revolve or like really expensive websites. I say Revolve because I feel like that's the one that literally everyone is talking about right now. And yes, they have adorable stuff on their website. It's so cute. But like I personally cannot afford to go on Revolve and spend a thousand dollars to get like five things or six things. And I, I just... I personally can't do it, so I don't want to be the one sitting here sharing that, at least at this point in my life. Maybe one day, who knows? I'm not going to say, like, I'll never do that because who knows, but at this point in my life, I'm so young, 25 years old, we're trying to buy a house, I'm trying to save my money. I'm sorry if you guys think I'm cheap or whatever it is, but that is what it is. So, I'm going to go back, I'm going to go inside now, and... I think Matt will be making dinner soon-ish. Hopefully, like, in the next hour, we'll be able to start making dinner. Cause I'm getting hungry. I found Jamie here. Look at him. Sorry, this lighting in this house is like, atrocious at night. So I like don't like to film all that much at nighttime. But um, we're gonna start making dinner now. Tonight we're doing Tuscan chicken again. We made it, I think like three or so vlogs back. I can link that video too. But I loved it. <laughs> it's really unhealthy, but it's just so yummy. And it's a really good night for like a big pasta, cozy, yummy dish. So we're doing ch the Tuscan chicken with linguine. And I'll show you what we, how we make it. But I was also considering, <laughs> um, considering filming a Q and A video in the near future. We have a few um, car trips uh, in the next few weeks. So if you guys have any, if you guys have any questions for us, leave them below in the comments, and maybe we could film a Q and A video driving down to Tech in a few weeks, or I don't know when it will be. But I was thinking about doing that. So if you have any questions of like about us, the mayor, like our wedding, our, like literally anything about our lives, leave them down in the comments. And if I get enough questions, I will make a video. I don't know if you guys like care to see a Q&A, so um, just leave questions if you have any, and I'll try to do that as soon as possible. I can feel love from miles away. The light in your eyes tells me stories of life in a perfect place where I want to stay. It's easier to laugh when it's you by my side. Shining through the cracks like the first morning light. Feeling like a child through the days and the nights. Living in your arms as it's gone by. It's easy. So Matt added the cream and the parmesan and took the chicken back out, I think, right? Is that the mm -hmm. last thing you did? Just so I can mix it easier. And then yeah, I'll put it back mix in. it. We'll put it back in in a minute. But the last thing, Frank, I wonder if he's hungry. He just did that thing. His food's in that closet. I'll give you food in a second, okay? 
I think the last thing we have to do is add the spinach and then put the chicken back in and let it sit and then we're waiting for our water to boil for our linguine noodles but this is the recipe that we follow for the most part we kind of eyeball it a lot but uh, savory nothings creamy Tuscan chicken is what we kind of referenced at least and um, this is the closest one that will get you to where we are uh, the only thing we did was add mushrooms this one does not call for mushrooms but besides that, I think it's pretty on par. I will link this below so you guys can have the recipe to the one we're making. But Matt, just put the spinach in. Sorry, this camera gets like so yellow. This lighting is so bad. But um, yeah, gotta feed Frank now because he's like, okay, it's time for me to eat dinner, guys. I'm starved. Back to his food closet. Let's see if he. <laughs> Wow, what is there something in there? Or are you just hungry? Is that? He's never done that. He's oh, his balls in there. <laughs> that makes sense. That's what you wanted, right? That ball. I'll feed you still though. Little scoop. Hey, your dinner, Frankie. Are you excited for this? So yummy. Here is the finished Tuscan chicken. It looks so yummy. I tried my best to make it look like, like aesthetically pleasing. Didn't really work too well. But yum, I'm so excited. <gasps> I'm pumped. We just finished dinner, it was so yummy. And now we're just saving all the leftovers in our Tupperware. We have these glass ones from Costco. I think they're Pyrex, right? I'm not 100% sure. Costco. But um, I like to portion our leftovers in like meal sized portions so we could just take one of these bowls and heat them up instead of having it all in one big container and then having to like scoop out serving sizes for like the meal you want so I always find this to be easier not wanted to <laughs> put all the leftovers away so I think we're just going to continue he's gonna finish doing this if I make the dinner and I put away the leftovers then you're forced with the dishes right yeah, I guess I have to clean. I'm just kidding. So. I'm just kidding. Clean. There's not that much. I took care of a lot of the dishes before, but this is what I have to work with right now. So I'm gonna get to cleaning. The tech game just ended. We got our asses beat by UNC, the hoodies. Our butts beat, sir. Our little tushies beat. Real bad, real, real bad. <laughs> and now I think we're gonna sit down and watch another episode of Dahmer. We're on the uh, we're on the sixth episode, and I'm really enjoying the show. I know a lot of people are saying that it's not like 100% accurate and all that stuff, which doesn't really surprise me. It's more of like a TV show to me than an actual documentary. But I've been enjoying it. I knew really not much at all about Dahmer before this, so I'm still like getting a lot of information from it, and I really enjoy it. So. I think we're gonna sit down and watch one episode, maybe two, if Matt lets me. I know there's a lot of football on tonight and he loves his football, so maybe maybe I'll go upstairs after one episode and he will um, finish some football tonight. But I think that's about it for this vlog. Not all that much going on today. It was a really chill, relaxing, rainy day. But I'm gonna be vlogging again tomorrow. It's gonna be a separate video though. I'm gonna try to get this house like in order, organize everything and all that kind of stuff. And I actually am going to run to Old Navy again. We were there today at the mall and I didn't buy anything because the line was so long. But I ordered a onesie for my cousin. She is due in December and I ordered something off her registry and it's just not what I thought it was gonna be when it came in. So I'm gonna go pick out some baby clothes in store tomorrow and just add that to her present her shower is in like a week and a half 
and I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to make it because I'm gonna be down at Virginia Tech that weekend. So I wanna get the present ready for next weekend when I'm up at my house. I'm gonna give it to my mom to pass along to my cousin at her shower. So I gotta get that done tomorrow and that's about it. But I also have this massive thing um, popping up on my face. I cannot, I don't know if it's from the nails or not, but I mentioned in my last video, I always break out when my nails are short. And here we go, I haven't had a pimple in forever and it's starting. So I don't know if it's quinky dink, but I hope it doesn't keep happening. Hopefully this guy goes down soon. But with that, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure you leave any questions you guys have, like I mentioned before, in the comments so I can make a Q&A for you guys. And we're just gonna start Dahmer now and enjoy the rest of our nights the rest of our night. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you're subscribed, stick around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Yeah.